guys, it's basic Sorgonomics on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the blog of SorgatronMedia.com and SidekickMediaServices.com. We, uh, this, this is where I like to break things down. Of course, we've been talking about podcasts. We've had a big momentous occasion uh, this week with the 500th episode. It's the end of the year of all the regular stuff on podcast day. And uh, I want to get back around to Actually, I've been reading a book, guys. I've been... <laughs> so I am slowly plodding through whenever I have, like, once or you know every couple of weeks i get a chance to uh pick up pick up the uh the tablet on my nightstand and and uh and not be too tired and and read a maybe a chapter of uh gary vaynerchuk's jab jab right hook which is really funny since i i watch everything he has online uh practically and um uh I read his first two books but the difference is they were audio books i enjoyed the audio books from him and i just don't get that much time to kind of you know sit down and read something uh so i've been trying to plod through that a little bit and it's also uh you know a lot of stuff in there is messages that i've heard in other places uh so it's not much new it's kind of just reinforcing at this point and uh when it comes to working on social media things i mean that's where i get a lot of my cues from I'm, my entire customer service strategy for indie wrestling.us is from the the new uh I can never remember <laughs> the new economy, uh, whatever his second book was, uh, G- Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, but but uh, I was starting to go through and, and, and the jab jab right hook, uh, and 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 they were talking about uh, the content and 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 you know content 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 give 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 ask, and I realized how much that is already integrated in some of the things that we do. Now, obviously, I think I think a lot of times with the, with the podcast uh, for you know my kind of strategy with it, I know we're not making direct money off of. Our, our big podcast with Mayhem Show and Awesome Cast, but that's the thing that we give, that we do uh, for us as much as for the, the the viewer as well. And that turns into, you know, something that uh, people can look at it and and, and opens up new relationships. Uh, so that that's our jab there until, you know, jab, 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 and then, and then uh, uh, you know, and then, oh, we can do a video for you. And then that's where the business model starts uh, rolling in. Or, oh, hey, we got this... Uh, we got some some wrestling over here, and then that's where that goes as well. Fix my camera here. A little, a little wobbly. Things are things are off kilter here ever since the uh, party the other night in here. All the cameras are out of place. It's all over the place. But anyways, so I and I started thinking about some other clients that we're working with. Of course, uh, you know, on Mondays I get to do uh, uh, work for Seclair, uh out there in Export PA. And um, and there's a real enforcement of uh, you know the content strategy, plus the actual reaction to the community. Unfortunately, because of the way this client is set up, I don't get a lot of chance to engage with the community. It's it's hard to do a community engagement if you're you know it's hard enough when you're you're Monday through Friday nine to five, but uh, because are you there when when your audience is right? Uh, you know, maybe your audience is is on more in the evening when they get home from work because they're also nine to fivers and don't have the opportunity to get on social media during the day. Or maybe they do anyways because they're on an office job and it's just the thing they do is like Facebook because they don't want to be at their office job, you know? Uh, so so there's that aspect too. And uh, it depends. But it is definitely hard when you're like, well, I got, I got eight hours every Monday to figure out all this stuff. Great thing. And, and for us, it's been creating things for people to interact with. Right, uh, we don't really uh, don't really figure on on where can we go with this because it's a uh, it's mental health. It's it's kind of a hard subject to reach out and 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 discuss with people. Uh, but we we just guide the conversation as much as we can. We have a show every week where we talk about concepts around the practice, and that's our jab. That's our giving of information, and then and then you know going with that concept, and and, and it's 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 the free content. It's a hey, check this out. Here's some information. You know, give give that information, and then um, that actually. You know, I mean, they have a practice that, you know, where a lot of people come in the door and says, I saw on the website this, this, and this, which is preparing them for when they come into the door, preparing them for, for that appointment or, or that group or whatever the case is that they need to come into this practice for, um, to see their counselor, to see, to see, you know, uh, whoever there, you know, um, but, uh, but then, you know, and then that just reinforces everything. Uh, we have another client that we've been working on a content content for and uh and we just um don't have we really don't have the uh right hook if we if we're still going with spend a four or four yet uh really we're kind of uh, building up the content uh before the business is in place 
And uh, so it's a long, it's a long jab, I guess. Uh, but it's been getting attention. And now it's uh, how do we get that out there even more? And uh, how do we how do we work that out? Uh, so I and I think I think when you look at those, um, I, I think they're good examples of of you know uh, you know especially a podcast. Um, people come up to me and say, you know, okay, yeah, let's do a podcast. How are you making money from the podcast? Well, I don't make money from the podcast. The podcast is not a direct. People are 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 uh, you know you know the ones I do for the people. You know, there's there it, it, again just. They're an outside thing. They're the jab, right? They're the jab. Do you have a thing to sell? I mean, you can sit there and do Patreon. We're experimenting with that. You know, we don't have a large, large audience that's all going to put into it. But man, the guys that do is really, really grateful that they do. And it's a few bucks that helps the show float a little bit. And, um, and, and, and it's, and it's great. And hopefully it helps it grow that we get more attention so we can do this for other people. And we are, you know, we are in discussions of doing more podcasts because of the stuff that we've done with sort of media, wrestling, Mayhem show, awesome cast, and even repositioning ones that we have. That's where, that's our experimental place. This is a place that I've always worked in. Um, now maybe, maybe talk about some other time about experiment. I think we'll do that next episode. Um, having that kind of a whiteboard to play in. And then and, and everything, uh, but but it, it it your product can't be just the podcast. How many podcasts out there are the free thing? And you know these, I, I'm always iffy on how I feel about these. These are that are very much a vehicle to sell a book or a service, right? Um, I think the one that does this very well that doesn't feel as skeezy as a lot of them do, and and that's not the fault of them. You know, I I would I've definitely placed the entrepreneur entrepreneurs on fire in this category, which is a very again very good, very informative podcast. Not my bag, but uh, you know, and even um uh, I was a while ago on a show uh, called Harnessing the Web. Uh, from a, a fellow up in Beaver, but again, this kind of model, you know, which is just, you know, again, not not really my thing, you know. Um, I, I'm hoping I'm hoping we're a little more natural in things, you know. This is my gift for this, you know, and this actually was just a gift for me and turned into a hey, let's talk about business things and and everything. And by the way, I got a webinar, you know. There's my right hook, you know. Hey, you know, I've got a webinar here. You guys can check out. Um, but anyways, but that gives you the idea there. Um, you know what is your what is your jab? What is is your is your podcast there to be the podcast? Are you there to be the content that you want your fans to fall over, and then that becomes the thing you sell? Uh, if that's the case, then well, you got a long road, road ahead ahead of you, and your success rate. I mean, it's probably yeah, but you know they say that that the restaurant business might be the hardest business to be in, but turning your podcast into a profitable business um, without something else that you can sell. It's probably even harder than the restaurant business unless you are damn good and have a great audience and are just a, a tremendous community builder right af- out of the gate. Because you got to think, this in these these days, I mean, it was one thing for some people to be first, right? Uh, we were there and got great numbers just because we were the wrestling podcast. I mean, how many people listening to our show now, Wrestling Mayhem Show, 500 episodes later, like, yeah, I went on Stitcher, I went on SwitchPod, I went on this site. I looked up wrestling podcasts, and you were the podcast I found. There's some other ones, but we're the one that caught people's eye. And they're still with us, and co-hosts <laughs> of the shows, you know. Um, now, look up wrestling podcasts, and we're competing with Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're competing with, uh, with Chris Jericho. We're competing with former wrestlers. That's a wrestling podcast now to the general public. In the world of serial, you know, that's where it is. So... So just to sum up, again, uh, um, what are you making that supports the thing you actually want to sell, the money-making thing? You know, you do the podcast, you do the information, so people are informed when they come in to see the doctor, is what we're doing with Seclair. Um, we give a, a lot of information around an event in, in leading, lead up to it in, for PodCamp. We talk to people about PodCamp. We talk to people about how they're using social media to give more information on why something like a PodCamp Pittsburgh is important. And the right hook is them showing up at PodCamp, maybe maybe buying a VIP uh, uh, entry there to help support it, you know, or, get, or to get sponsors and, and show how important it is to them. 
Um, and then also, uh, you know, what is what is the what is the thing you're going to sell? And is it that podcast? And if that's it, I would definitely caution you. Why are you doing that podcast? Is it the is it the jab or is it the right hook? And I swear I want to stop using Vaynerchuk-isms here sometime in a future episode. Maybe that'll be a resolution for 2016. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.